Hey folks, it's James Mulvaney with another video and today I want to talk about da -da -da -dum, competitions and giveaways. They're synonymous with radio and podcasting and media and TV and we've seen them, you know, for the last probably 40 years as a regular staple of content that we kind of take in as consumers but how can they actually be used number one to drive engagement to your audience and get people listening for longer to your radio station or your podcast or your videos like this or how could they be to use to actually grow your audience and get more people engaged with your radio station or your podcast all of that coming right up Without further ado, let's talk about competitions. Now, I want to give you a few different examples today, some kind of cool competitions that I've seen around, stuff that's worked and stuff that we've done also that's worked really well in terms of growing the number of leads for our companies. Uh, and to start off with, let's talk about the classic, a good old puzzle or a good old quiz. You'll hear these on radio stations. You'll hear them quite often on podcasts. You could use them also in other forms of media, whether that's on your website, social media, video. Remember, you're not building just one thing these days you've got to be cross-platform your media brand that you're creating has to encompass all of these things so it's really simple a puzzle or a quiz it's just basically setting the the viewer or the listener a challenge uh to um you know provide some kind of answer um, there could be a prize for this it can also just be a good engagement piece so there's not always necessarily going to be you know a big fancy prize sometimes it might be something small like back in the day people used to give away cds nowadays you sometimes might want to give away like an amazon gift voucher um, the prize can be something small but it's really just a case of getting people engaged and the purpose of doing this is to you know get their attention span so really if especially if you're presenting a live radio show um you know you can announce the competition is going to happen at the beginning you can kind of then set the challenge in the middle and then you can kind of announce the winner at the end the idea of this is just really really simple is to keep that listener tuned into your station and stop them switching the dial to somewhere else uh for as long as you can okay and you've got to be kind of persistent at how you do this you've got to make sure that you kind of have say you have an announcement at the beginning this is what's coming up stay tuned we're going to be doing this here's the competition here's the question for today or here's the puzzle we want you to solve there's going to be clues throughout the show that's another good way that you can kind of get people involved and then at the end the grand reveal who's the winner what have they got bbc radio one have a great example of this they have a uh, jam slam competition basically listeners have a series of clues which are kind of given out on the breakfast show and uh, these clues will point to a three letter word um, which basically they have to then text in to the radio station uh, in order to be entered in for the prize so you know, it's something that's engaging. They're actually having to contact the station or they're having to call in. Uh, it's something that requires a little bit of thought in terms of like the answer is not actually obvious because um, the clues are kind of presented throughout the show. So another idea for a cool kind of competition that you could do is just simply guess the year or guess the song or guess the artist. And this is when you will play a clip of normally a piece of music. You could do this on a podcast. It doesn't have to just be radio. Just give your way your listeners uh, a way of feeding back to you, which could just be by texting a number. It could be WhatsApping you. It could be sending in an email, Facebook messaging your page, whatever. Just have a way that they can easily reach you. Um, and, you know, you play a clip, which might be you know, a clip of a song, and then you ask what year that song was recorded and released. Uh, you, quite, you could also do a, sort of like a name the celebrity voice. So you might have a clip of someone saying something and you have to guess who said it. Likewise, you could spin it on who recorded this piece of music or here's an artist, this is the artist, but what's the song called? This is quite good and it's kind of a quick and easy hack if you like to get people engaged. It doesn't necessarily require that you have like a big grand prize. I think it's more just a case of making sure that your audience is engaged, giving them some content that they can actually talk to you about and kind of think about, uh, which is really always very exciting, I think, when you're presenting for radio or TV uh, or indeed for podcasts as well. First caller. Now, this is brilliant if you want to create a lot of hype. Um, there's different ways you could do this. It could simply be, uh, you know, when you play a certain song, uh, then someone has to call in or your listeners have to call in and the first caller will win free tickets to an event, maybe to a festival or to a gig. 
uh, or they might win a signed copy of something or other. Um, but it's basically just going to create that kind of rush when people are listening and you have a certain trigger song which you'll mention throughout the show and obviously the idea of it is you drop it towards the end of the show so the listeners will tune in for the duration of the show this can also work with like a trigger word so you might have something that you're gonna say uh again really classic radio competition really good fun for the listeners and uh, will help drive your engagement as a radio station all right, next up, I wanted to talk about how to actually increase your audience. So we've talked a bit about engagement pieces, things that you can do on air or on your podcast, which will help get people listening from A to B. Uh, that's very, very important. But how do we actually go out and acquire more listeners or acquire more viewers or people who are engaging with our brand, getting more leads ultimately as a business? I think uh, this final sort of method is absolutely fantastic at this. Uh, we've been using this in our business for the last few years. Each time we try it, it brings in somewhere between ten and 20,000 new leads for us across different social channels and our email marketing lists, etc. And it creates a buzz in the industry. It creates engagement. And I'm talking about social media giveaways. There's a few reasons this works so well. Firstly, you have a cool prize, okay? And it's something that on the skin of it, you know, maybe there's not that many people in, in entering into this competition. So if you can demonstrate you've got this amazing prize, it's going to encourage people to actually enter in. It also creates what's known as a viral loop, which is basically where someone is promoting your social media channels to their followers, who in turn will then see it and then do the same, promote it to their followers, and so on and so forth. Hence the term viral loop. This is an absolutely fantastic viral loop. It will cause your post to go incredibly viral. It will also get a lot of data for you in terms of get you more followers on your Instagram page, on your Twitter page, Facebook. You could also use it to capture email addresses. So you have, you're building that email list, which I always recommend so you can reach out to your audience. So you start to really engage and know who your audience is a bit more. And it's just a very, very simple idea. You have a sweepstake, okay? So this might be a prize package. So for example, uh, I have a website called matchmaker.fm, which is a place where we connect podcasters and guests. Fantastic. If you've not checked it out, I'd recommend you go and do that. Uh, it's an awesome uh, platform. But we wanted to grow our social media presence because we kind of just launched. We didn't really have that many followers on there and we wanted a bit more engagement. And we also wanted to make more people aware of our brand and, and the service that we actually provide. So we looked at who our audience is. It's obviously podcasters and people who want to be on podcasts. We thought, what sort of stuff do they want? So we put together an ultimate podcast package, which consists of a couple of microphones, uh, a, a mixing desk, which is called Rodecaster Pro, and all the accessories and things to go with it, things like boom arms, headphones. So a really good prize package, actually worth over $1,000. You don't actually have to buy this stuff from the get-go. I'll explain in a second what you do when you select the winner. But alongside this, we also had a bunch of runner-up. Uh, prizes so for example we had free subscriptions to use our services for a year um, along with a couple of other partner offers that we'd uh, we'd managed to get so we had a big long list of prizes it wasn't just the, the main prize but we had several runner-up prizes which again kind of gives people reassurance because they think okay well there's more than one chance of winning here i might as well enter in you post this on social media you've got to do like a nice video showing off all the equipment that you're going to be giving away or whatever it is it is it might just be a similar case of like giving away an iphone or giving away a laptop we see competitions giving away lots of consumer electronics and they seem to work incredibly effectively if you've got something which is mainly music focused it might be signed copy of an album or kind of some kind of memorabilia it could really be absolutely anything but just think about who your audience is and what sort of thing would really appeal to them you know it's got to be something that's desirable for them and of course sometimes it could just actually be cash it could be a, a, a gift card for amazon or it could just literally be you know we'll send you a thousand dollars in the post whatever but have a prize that's worth going for that's aspirational for your audience once you've done this prize you just literally post a, a, a post up on your social media accounts just saying you know retweet this post if you want an entry you could also follow us if you want another entry you can repost on instagram you could share this on facebook 
And also you can enter and subscribe to our mailing list. Give us your email address for an additional entry. We used a tool called Gleam.io, which we're not affiliated with, but we use that to manage this sweepstake giveaway. Um, and it simply just provides kind of like a nice easy way of people sharing this competition. But this works tremendously well. As I say, when we last tried this, uh, I think it generated somewhere in the region of 12,000 leads for us for Matchmaker, which is pretty good. You know, we're not complaining about that. You could also do this for your radio station. You could do this for your podcast. You could talk about it on air. You can talk about it on your podcast. And of course, put it out on your social media channels, send it out to your mailing list, create that momentum. Because once someone starts retweeting, other people see it, they'll start retweeting, etc. That's the idea. You're creating this momentum and they work really really well okay so to finish up competitions i wanted just to talk about the sorts of prizes that you might want to give away i kind of touched on it a little bit before uh, firstly think about music if you're doing a radio show or you have a podcast concert tickets always really good uh, or gig tickets festival tickets and quite often you can actually get these for free if you reach out to the event organizer and you say look i'm after a couple of tickets to give away for free to our listeners in turn we'll promote your festival or pr we'll promote your concert quite often the promoters will say yep absolutely here's some free tickets in fact more than often they will have a certain number of tickets which are allocated specifically for these kinds of purposes so as long as you explain you know we're a radio station or we have a successful podcast and our audience are perfect for coming along to this kind of festival or this kind of event they'll probably give you free tickets to give away. Sometimes they even have things where they can get them signed by big artists and stuff like that. So lots of options there. Think about audio as well. What else do you want to give away? Maybe like a high quality pair of headphones or a high quality pair of speakers. You could even give away uh, smart speakers, you know, Alexa, Google Home, that type of thing, or the, the Apple HomePod. Music stuff, so sign memorabilia, get a guitar signed or a skateboard signed, or you could get, you know, uh, back in the day it used to be like CDs would get signed by the artist when they swung by radio stations. Again, not everyone has CDs now, so think about what something you can kind of give away, which is actually a signed copy of something. Uh, book signing, of course, if you speak to authors, make sure you get a signed copy of their books. They're a great, great giveaway. Again, they normally will give them to you for free. Uh, if you say that they're going to be used for promotional purposes. Gift cards are always good, cool. Everyone buys everything on Amazon nowadays. So uh, recently we've actually run a competition where we're giving away five of $25 Amazon gift cards. And all you have to do is share our uh, our product, our service with your followers. So again, it's just nice and easy. It kind of creates a little, little quick win. So it always has, takes no time at all for someone to just press share on Facebook, on Instagram. But of course, by doing this, you're creating a massive amount of exposure for your brand uh, on social media. Of course, you could always give away a holiday. Goes down very well on vacation. Uh, we see this uh, on a lot of, of TV and radio, of course. Again, sometimes you can get certain credit from um, you know a holiday company in return for exchange or promo. So, you know, go and speak to some local travel agents or speak to some local travel companies and see what they can offer you. See if they can give you a voucher towards a holiday in exchange for some advertising on your station or for the competition. And failing that, you can always just take someone on a tour around your radio station. That actually does go down with listeners really well. OK, so to wrap up, that's competitions, how we can use them in radio, how can we can use them in our podcasts or to grow our online business as a whole. Uh, lots of ideas for you to get stuck into then let me know in the comments if you've tried any competitions i'm curious to hear how you've how they've gone down have they increased listener engagement have they got you more listeners let me know in the comments if you have any questions of course always happy to answer them down there too remember to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video speak to you soon over and out hey i'm james founder of radio.co before you go anywhere i've got an interesting question for you do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful gets lots of listeners and does very well and a radio station that perhaps kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch and do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.